people of the purple butterfly here otherwise most people are seven on twitter and youtube people are elsewhere on the internet my blog is located purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my subs can be purchased at people dot etsy dot com and i'm about to cut the bubble gum soap and i've already put a pa strip on here preliminary testing is around eight okie dokie now and I also found out I'm down to one glove so I will be buying some more of those tomorrow in the meantime there are ways to do things when you only have one glove tan Most of it's still the same. It's just that primarily I'll be using my left hand. Which is good because I happen to be ambidextrous. And have been since I was a child. So, that kind of works out for me. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that is so pretty. Now, in the meantime, let's cut off that end piece and see what the inside swirl looks like. Well, can't tell much from this piece. <laughs> in the meantime, let me grab a box to put this in. And I forgot to balance the cutting board up against the cutter so it can slide smoothly. So let's do that now, shall we? And that one little long soap piece to get away in the box now. And something go boom. I don't know what it was. Okay, now. Let's move that right down a little bit. Oh, wow. Make sure that's nice and even. And away we go. This was a thick in the pot swirl. I was actually expecting more color, but since I use a gold, which is usually an accent color, there may or may not be a lot in the mix of the soap. There's something flying in this house and something getting in my eye, and together they're driving me back. Okay, now. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look, it's making a circle. Hmm. Alrighty then. And these are some thick pieces of bubble gum. Let me get my balance on that side proper. And then line it up with the edge. And then we'll cut. I like that. Now, uh, sight. But my allergies, anytime something touches my nose, it drives me bad. And I spent the day around dandelion spores and, well, a whole bunch of nature attacked me all at once. I was at a picnic. It's fun if you happen to like picnics. I'm not a picnic type of girl, but I still managed to have some fun. There we go. That one's cut slightly crooked, but it's all good. Huh. 
Oh, that's what I'm looking at. Some of the gold is right on the bottom. Okay, now. I'm going to move this. It's a good theory and concept, but mostly I'm getting a bunch of soap scraping onto the cutter. So I'd rather just hold it awkwardly into one hand as opposed to doing that. And if I hold it through the center, I won't have to worry about it, will I? Okay, now. There we go. Oh, and the top, as you can tell, did gel. Well, the soap gel, but you could tell it on the top. It smushed my beautiful swirl design I had going on. But hey, that's the nature of the beast. We don't fuss about it. We don't fight about it. We just cut the soap and let the soap be what it's going to be. almost like a smile. Alrighty then. Let's see what else we're going to get out of this. I'm actually looking for another five pound mode that um, is shaped different. You know, like maybe another tall, narrow or something that allows for height. So that way if I want to... Oh, it's got a double ditch. It must be because of the paper. I'll just put that in there upside down so it'll balance. But if I wanted to have height or do a design or whatever, I can't with this particular mode because it literally fills up to the top and that's it. Because this is a mode that's made for basic bars, not anything fancy. It's not like your regular loaf mode. In fact, I'm going to show it to you. If you go by the inside area, you have a square like that. Be right with you, Mommy. I'm filming something. Well, this video is going to be short-lived. A woman has radar. Every time I turn the camera on, she manages to call my name. <laughs> it's a Mommy gift. Okie dokie. Now, let's get to the rest of this. surprised how uniform the swirl came out saying how it's only a single color. There we go. Now the rest of those will go right over here on this little tray I have since they're not going to fit in that box. There we go. I am looking for new soap trays. There was this one on Soap Boss where it was like literally a long tray that was Oh, about three bars wide. That thing is great. That would be perfect. I just don't know where she got it. <laughs> but eventually, I'm going to find something like that because you can put several loaves aside at the same time. What is that? It looks like a piece of titanium dioxide. So far, I didn't use any in this. So I'm going to test the pH of that to see what I get. Uh, nope. It's just some mica. So no worries there. Uh, a video on YouTube and some bubblegum scented soap. Mm, looks like bubblegum. Where's the lighter? My lighter is... Under your arm, actually, right there. Say hi to YouTube, mommy. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Alrighty then. Now let's see what else we got. Ta-da! Apparently, that dot is titanium dioxide. I don't remember mixing any in here, but I did put the 14 karat gold in and the pink 
Yes, I did. The pink was a strong pink, and it was too strong, and I added some titanium dioxide to lighten it up. So apparently it didn't get completely blended, and I have a little white dot there, which I'll probably try to figure out a way to dig out. Anyway, we're almost done. Isn't my mama adorable? <laughs> She's come a long way. It used to be, uh, you're making what? You gonna make any money with this? Why are you spending all your money on that? Now she hangs out to see what I'm doing and to smell the product and all that and tells me, oh, the kitchen be available on so and so and so time or so and so and so day. So, soap addiction affects everybody some kind of way. Yes, mommy. Put your potato in the refrigerator. You don't want me to microwave it? Ah. Okie dokie. Hold on, mommy. Hold on. This is People 7 on Twitter and YouTube. People elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com. Purchase some soap. People dot com. And I'll see you later. Bye now.